We want to now learn about build agents. Before I show you how you set up a build agent, I need to explain to you what a build agent is and what are the different types of build agents that we can have in Team City. So basically, as I said, when you install Team City, it actually doesn't compile the code itself. It's only there for you to create your projects and configurations and give access to different people and that type of things. So in order to compile the code, run your unit tests, package the code artifact and that type of things, you need build agent. Basically, build agent is a service that you install either on Windows or on Linux or any Linux based operating system. You can potentially install this build agent service on the same server that is hosting Team City, but then that will impose a lot of limitations on your Team City setup. Also, in case your build agent gets trashed and you want to delete it and create a new one, if you put it on the Team City server, then that means that you have to basically kill your Team City server as well, which is not good. Also, setting up build agent services on servers that are not the Team City server has some benefits, and that is the that you don't have to use the same operating system on your build agent servers as the ones that you use with the team city server that means that if your team city server is based on ubuntu for example you can have some windows build agents and you can have some linux build agents and you can mix and match so in this simple diagram as you see on the left side we have the team city server and then we have multiple build agents. Without buying a license for Team City, you can have up to three build agents connected to Team City. Some of these build agents can be based on Windows. For example, they can build .NET code, and some of them can be based on Linux. For example, you can use them for Java or PHP. So there are two main build agent types in Team City. One of them is what I call fixed build agents. Basically, they are just servers that run the agent service and they are always there. You never delete them or anything. You never terminate them and they are always connected to Team City. If you run your fixed build agents on cloud, for example, on Amazon Web Services and on Azure, because in the cloud you pay for what you use, a fixed build agent may be costly because, for example, if your team goes home overnight, they don't do any work with the Team City build agents, but you are actually incurring cost. Uh, the benefit is that because the build agents are always up and they are connected, they are always available. As opposed to fixed build agents, we have cloud build agents. Cloud build agents at the moment are only supported on Amazon Web Services. Cloud build agents are basically just definition of agents. You only get the agent as a concrete actual agent when you need them. For example, if Team City is idle, there is no agent there. When you start a build, then Team City goes and launches the agent and then agent gets connected. So they are only available when Team City needs to run a build. And then when Team City doesn't have anything to do with them, Team City will terminate the instances because they are on Amazon Web Services. Team City can send a command to Amazon Web Services and terminate them if the build agent be idle for a given time. For example, if for 30 minutes nothing happens, there is no build, Team City will terminate the agents. And as I said, they are only supported on Amazon Web Services. They are a very good cost save saving option because you only use an agent when you actually build something other than that the agent is terminated so you don't pay anything the downside is that because team city has to launch a new instance of the build agent you may have to wait something around four or five minutes for the agent to become available so in the current section which is team city level one we only work with the fixed build agents in team city level two i will show you how you set up cloud build agents as as well so let's go and install the team city build agent service on a server and set it up